Mushrooms begin life as fungal spores. When spores germinate, they grow into a lacy, filament-like root network called mycelium. I am not an animal, a plant, or a mineral. Entering a subterranean space, you might realize exactly how damp and wet a perfectly normal indoor climate can be. On an average day, humans inhale somewhere between 1,000 and 10 billion mold spores. Is communicating specifically reserved for the animal kingdom? How about redistributing resources? We are a constant part of your circulation. Dr. Vandana Shiva, an environmental thinker, wrote in her text, Soil, that the word human has its roots in humus, which is soil in Latin. The word Adam, allegedly the first human, derives from Adamus, the word for soil in Hebrew. Did you know that? Our future is inseparable from the future of the earth. I am a fungi. Is caring for your neighbours or kin an exclusively human trait? Horizon. The visible horizontal line in all directions where the sky appears to meet the earth in the distance. Built between 1898 and 1906 in Barcelona, Spain, Casa Bayo is the house of the dragon, with its delightful stained glass windows, a winding roof back, colourful as a rainbow. Casa Bayo is known for another innovation, the first underground parking anywhere. Designed by the iconic architect Antoni Gaudi, it is remarkable for any parking designs for its interior below-grade circular helix built in 1904. Decentralize. The dispersion or distribution of functions and powers. A decentralization of powers, specifically government. I am both edible and toxic, vegetarian, yet meaty on your tongue. I am wild, yet domesticated. I can send your mind and senses on a fierce, hallucinogenic flight, but I can also kill you. I am so much more than what you see on the surface. I am actually a much larger organism, but I live in a subterranean environment that you can't see with the naked eye. What you see is my fruiting body. A body you can pick when I'm ripe, like fruit hanging from a tree. Most of me you will leave behind. Those root-like threads you occasionally see on my stem, those are not roots, but fragments of my spreading life form. Turn left at the next roundabout. The rotting and conversion of biodegradable plant and animal waste, including waste from the kitchen, into organic manure in a controlled manner using bacteria and fungi, is called composting. Your stock just went up. The underland can be said to hold three tasks. To shelter what is precious. Memories, precious matter, messages, fragile lives. To yield what is valuable. Information, wealth, metaphors, minerals, visions. And to dispose of what is harmful. Waste, trauma, poison, and secrets. Robert McFarlane, Underland, page 8. Soil and land are meant as commodities. Horizon, the range or limit of one's knowledge experience or interest, a boundary or threshold. The other day I had mushroom tea at a friend's. Ugh! 
Would you ever drink that? Transport networks. Where does one organism stop and one begin? Early effects typically include nausea and excessive yawning. Modern car parks utilize a variety of technologies to help motorists find unoccupied parking spaces, car location when returning to the vehicle, and improve their experience. These include adaptive lighting, sensors, and parking space LED indicators. Red for occupied, green for available, and blue is reserved for the disabled, above every parking space. An indoor positioning system, IPS, including QR code and mobile payment options. The Santa Monica Place shopping mall in California has cameras on each stall that can help count the lot occupancy and find lost cars. horizon, the range or limit of any dimension in which one exists. In 1885, botanist Albert Bernard proposed the idea that plant roots and fungi are working together. In the 1990s, forest ecologist Suzanne Simard discovered the way trees between different species are able to articulate their needs within the forest and perform an exchange of nutrients if one species would be low. In other words, they are helping each other when the other needs it, allowing them both to remain healthy. An experiment that goes against the capitalist concept of survival of the fittest, where every organism is believed to be constantly fighting against one another. But there is more to it. The trees are not only redirecting their nutrients, but they also signal when they're being attacked Later experiments looked at the tomato plant, an experiment where one plant was infested with a leaf-chewing caterpillar. Within six hours, the neighbouring tomato plant had activated its defence mechanism to try and ward off the caterpillar. It knew it was under attack. This cooperative neighbourhood is made possible by the advanced network of mycorrhizae, also known as the Wood Wide Web that is, in a way, allowing the plants to talk. When mycelium is mature, it produces a mushroom, which will spread its spores in the forest to continue the life cycle of the mushroom. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Sometimes I try to string a few thoughts together, and all I can think about is, are we using the shrooms, or are the shrooms using us? Is this text actually being written by the mushroom casserole I had for lunch? Buy low, sell high. Am I creating a reflection of myself? Mushrooms are decomposers and break down dead plants to recycle their nutrients. Mycelial network. Hydraulic network. Hydraulics is a mechanical function that operates through the force of liquid pressure. 
The effects of mushrooms generally begin after about 30 to 45 minutes. They can last as long as six hours. A tapestry is a woven rug, typically of wool and silk, that was historically used to form complex images with visual references, myths, symbols and allegories in one frame. Germination, the sprouting of a seed, spore or other reproductive body, usually after a period of dormancy. Mushroom farms are typically indoors, so farmers can replicate nature's perfect conditions. As architectural record has noted, in the pantheon of building types, the parking garage lurks somewhere in the vicinity of prisons and toll plazas. The New York Times has labelled parking structures as the grim afterthought of American design. I read a quote the other day by Charles Sherrington about the human brain and weaving. I wish you had read it. Symbiosis. The human binary view 